All right, so eons ago, when life first moved out of the oceans and onto land, early plant life evolved from algae as tiny little plants that eventually evolved into numerous types of bryophytes, like all these different mosses here. Now, these small plants are known as non-vascular plants because they lack roots and vascular tissue that allows them to move water and resources around within themselves. So instead, they have to absorb water and nutrients through the atmosphere or the environment they live in. You know, they're kind of like a bunch of tiny cellulose boxes that are able to soak up water, yet this simple structure also lacks the strength needed for the plant to grow much bigger than an inch or two without collapsing on itself, so they're all pretty small. Eventually, though, plants were able to evolve to have roots that seek out water and complex vascular tissues that transport water and resources to and from their leaves, and these are known as vascular plants. These vascular tissues mean that plants were able to um, build strong, robust cellulose structures that could support much bigger morphologies, and thus plant life was able to evolve from mosses and algae and everything from small herbs to ferns to bushes to giant trees like the Sitka spruce here, which pumps up water through its xylem to its leaves, which photosynthesize and returns carbohydrates down through its phloem, building up layers of cambium, which harden into that strong heartwood that keeps giants like these standing. Now, both types of plants are common all over the world, each working to fill different niches in their ecosystems. And in cases like this coastal temperate rainforest here, they actually sort of depend on each other. See, all these little water absorbing non-vascular plants love shade that keeps them from drying out. And these big vascular plants require a ton of moisture in the soil to drop through transpiration. So they shade out these non-vascular plants that carpet the forest floor, which in turn helps retain moisture levels in the soil, forming one big interconnected ecosystem. It's pretty dang neat.